other news now, more underground booms were heard in Clintonville overnight. And still no answers on what's shaking houses and rattling people's nerves. Cody Holyoke is live in Clintonville, west of Green Bay. What's the latest, Cody? Well, Mike and Shelley, no booming here today, at least while we've been here. The latest event happened at about 5 a.m. This is really a mystery Clintonville just can't shake. The sound is still here. The only thing louder is the speculation. There's a lot of scuttlebutts going on around here. Just ask mailman Tim Clogzine, walking up and down the part of town where the booms shake houses and scare residents. Everybody has their theories, from aliens to secret government experiments. When we sit around our bonfires, you can feel it. You can feel the ground shake a little bit, and you can hear the booming going off. But it's, you know, it's really bizarre. The situation here has gotten to the point insurance agents tell us many residents are calling to take out policies for earthquake insurance. People are all scared. Homeowners like Tammy Dankert are seriously considering leaving town for a while. Just take my family, take my dogs, just go for the weekend. Get out of here. Yeah. City leaders hope it doesn't come to that. City Administrator Lisa Kuss maintains crews are doing what they can, ruling out man-made explanations. But posted listening devices haven't helped much, and questions remain. Is there some sort of an epicenter? How deep is it happening? The geologists really feel like it's not earthquake-related, which means it would be closer to the surface of the ground. Words of little comfort to the people who simply want the shaking to stop. I just hope that they find out what the problem is, and they kind of reassure everybody of what is going on. Now, city leaders hope to say what they can tonight at 6 o'clock here at Clintonville High School, though information, as you heard, is still limited. If anybody has any info on what this may be, they're asking you call them and give them a heads up.